Fans, welcome back to another episode of the Rangers Football Manager series on the Football Commentary YouTube channel. I think we're on episode 7, I'm pretty sure we're on episode 7. It's a big episode, big episode. Should be quite a long one actually as well because there's three games involved and all Europa League. Um, I, think th I don't think this happens in real life so I'm not too sure why it's happened but it has and it's going to make a great episode so um basically off camera did one game it's Aberdeen at home we need you know with them it was a much needed win to get a little bit back on track after a draw to rapid um Vienna and a shock loss to Hamilton at home I don't know how that happened but it did yeah we won against um Hamilton 2-0 Kamar Roof with both goals it's just what you love to see really from Kamar Roof he's actually been quite a um quite a good player for us this season um, Kamaru, Roof. Um, Hadji still needs his rest, apparently, saying that they are his assistant seeing because he's played quite a lot of games this season. And um, FM, explain, please. <laughs> show goals, we will show you a black screen. Okay, well, so let's try to get there. We go. So, the first one was a nice little header, Barisic with both assists, I'm pretty sure, as well. Um, yeah, here's Barisic again, lovely crossing, right footed as well, good finish. Easy 2-0 win, and that was the only game off camera, because we're going to have a weekend, so we play on a Thursday, play on the, on the Sunday, the Europa League, and we play on the Thursday after as well, so I mean, yeah, and then we're going to have quite a big chunk off camera, I think we're going to do quite a big chunk, like maybe even up to the Celtic game, to get the series moving on a bit, so yeah, that's all that happened off camera, I, there might be a few injuries, was there, I don't know, Tavernier's coming back, obviously these can't play because I'm registered, because that thing in the Europa League, I can't quite, I can't do, I don't know what it is. Like some of them don't meet the requirements, or like the, the um, can't meet yeah, just can't meet the requirements of the squad and just can't be involved. Like Edmondson, I don't know why. I have no idea why they couldn't fit. I, I, I just, yeah, just didn't understand it. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to go without them, and our squad is a little bit weak. Um, yeah, red car was that an injury? Oh, injury to Joe Reba. I knew there was an injury. Not a long one, just three to. Six dates. Hadji, I'm still going to rest because that's what they tell him to do. And I think that's the team he's going to go with here. Balogun still playing at right back, but Tavernier is back as well. I think, yeah, three days as well. So let's just get into this first game of the triple header of Europa League games in a in a week. Three games in a week in Europe. Should be winning these games, really. They were disappointed with the draw we got against these away, so obviously we should be probably battering teams like this. A bit of a different um, upload time. Someone came in the stream in the Liverpool Tottenham one and that's when the next episode is going to be and I said Friday but unfortunately I've not been able to do that and the best I can do is Saturday morning so in a couple of, I think I'm getting this out at 12 so in three hours time there should be a Southampton v Manchester City commentary up as well so if you watch this or if you're watching this when it uploads make sure you're here in a couple of hours time to listen to that commentary um, double upload day but you know I, I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it um, I couldn't do it Friday so um so yeah, it's going to have to be a Saturday, you know, noon upload. Um, nice little um, cinematics there. They're the groups. That's their team. And here we go. Balogun, by the way, has actually had a great stint at right back. What's that? What is that? Yeah, Balogun's had a good stint at right back, um, <laughs> to be fair to him. So, um... We're, bo we're born to box it. So, I mean, I'm, obviously we've got two full-backs and the chance of them both getting injured. I think in the same game it was. It's actually quite rare. So, um, so yeah, I don't think we'll need to use Balogun too often this season. Maybe only in the Europa League if Tavernier gets injured or needs a rest because we can't register the other player. But no, he's, he's, he's been all right. He's not played too badly at all. He's not really made any considerable or rememberable mistakes. I mean, that probably bite me now. He'd probably make one this game. There's Kamaru, can he put a better shot in on goal? Yes, he can, because it's gone straight in. He's putting up a great case to be starting ahead of Hadji, or even moving Hadji into the cam roll and we change formation to the 4-2-3-1, because Kamaru Roof is coming up with the goals constantly. Lovely little shot. Keepers on this game are just, you know, they can't save anything really, can they? Even if it's right next to them. So, um, so yeah, on a different save, I actually play that formation there, playing... Um, Rapid Vienna, ball swung in, headed away, go on Balogun, spread that out, wow, I love that, that's a great ball, try and take on your man, can you, yes you can, ooh, could have probably scored that, down the down the pathway, go. oh there it is, <laughs> booted back, hits the corner flag, put it back in again, oh I don't get there, okay, 
Okay, come on. Let's deal with Okay, there we go. Deal with it nicely. So it looks like it's going to be a battle between us and Nice, who we haven't played yet. Yes, we have played, and we... We have played them. Why do I not remember playing them? Because we haven't, have we? Because we played Dynamo first. That's weird, that. Because you usually play your first three games against the three different teams, and you play them again after, but this time it's different different way around, isn't it? No wonder I'm so confused. Yeah, Nice is next. So it'll probably be a battle between us and Nice for who gets top spot in the group. We'll find that out this episode, probably, depending on how certain results go. I would like another goal in this game. Come on, Barisic, Kamara. Nice drill ball. Kent's shot is blocked. And next episode of this probably will go out maybe... I don't even know, you know. Probably Tuesday, because I've got a week's break from Coventry after this, because I'm not doing a League Cup one. Um, yeah. Let's motivate the team. And yeah, I'm in a 10-day isolation from the 17th, so that's a bit annoying. So I do have a bit of extra time on my hands. Um, yeah, not isolated during Christmas, which... Um, isn't great, but you know we 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 move, we we move. Um, not much is going on this game. It's still only one nil, which I'm a little bit worried about because this Europa League campaign has been a bit on the ropes to say the least. Look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven subs, no defenders on the bench because of the registration rules. So that is how bare to the bone we are of all positions. Um, let's bring on our field. Or Kent, let's bring on it. I think Itton's going out on loan, you know. I think that is something he came to me off camera and said, I want to go out on loan. And we tried to sell Defoe as well um, for a little bit of cash because he's 38 and his contract's up at the end of the year. So if we can get like 800k for him, then I'll, I'll definitely take that. Um, let's take off Barisic. Let's bring on Hadji. Let's put him with on cam and let's just play back three like that. Can he play left mid and right mid? Yeah, he's going to have to do. We'll just play that. Still 1-0, though. It's a bit worrying. Oh, they made a comeback, Dynamo Kiev, to be fair to them. That's a decent little comeback they made. Um, oh, don't score, don't score, don't score. It's a goal kick as well, so he was onside. That's a sitter. That is an absolute sitter. This is not This is what we, we, we are struggling to score goals in the games we need to be scoring the most. I thought, I thought, I thought that Aberdeen game, we were getting back on track, you know, with nice two goals like we have in this game. Kamar Roof again. Seriously, what a player. But honestly, in this competition, that might have to be something we actually look at. Back three and wing backs or left mids and right mids because of the sort of the shortages of defenders we have that we're allowed to um to register. Anyway, Campbell again, you know what I'm like with Campbell, he's been literally my favourite player. He gets a nice little seven point one. What a player. Not scored yet, I am waiting for that still. We have won the first game of the episode. Two Kamar Roof goals again like he did against Aberdeen. Excellent top performance, yeah, 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 whatever. Let's continue. Receive Farron 20 for their win. That's fantastic. I mean, didn't know that was a thing. But here comes the Sunday game in the Europa League. Still, still baffles me that this is a thing. But I mean, it's made for a great episode. So I'm not going to complain too much about it. Um, yeah, I think Jones, he's a last player. Um, yeah, well, we'll try and get rid of Defoe. And we're probably going to have to ask for a bit less than what we're asking for. And then Itton as well. He wants to go out on loan. That's the thing with Itton. Like he's the one who wants to go out on loan. Not like I don't want him to. It's him who wants to go out on loan. Um, I will try and use him more. But it is hard when you've got Morelos and Defoe. Um, Alianza Riviera. Michael Oliver, the referee. Who is that? Is, is their manager... Is it still Vieira? Because I know it got sacked in real life. I'm pretty sure he was the Nice manager. It is Vieira, okay. And they don't have any hot prospects or a captain. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the big test, though. This is going to be the big, big test. Um, yeah. We know how You know how we do interviews around here. We just press the second the second one on the left. Because they're just a waste of time, really. Some transfer offers. I guarantee they are for Defoe. They are. Well, they're just not... Ooh, Hamburg. Right, we'll accept that. We will accept that. Will we? Yeah. It gives it, it, it gives us money for a 38-year-old, and it allows us to use Itten more, because he would be the backup, and that's better for him and his, and his progress if he was the backup. Because 
you know, he'd get more chance of being used at the minute because he's, you know, developed 38. He's, he's known for scoring the goal, so why wouldn't I use him? So, um, no, our field would use, Itton would use, and Vic, oh, I can't remember his name. I forgot about this. I think we're going to buy Lewis Ferguson. I did this, I did this deal when we played Aberdeen, actually. And I know he's one of the biggest prospects in Scotland. And he was being attracted by Tottenham and Arsenal, actually. I don't know if it says it. Do we buy him? I think we do. 3.2 million. You only live once. I know we don't need a midfielder, but I've done it. I've done it. Court final draw for the court. We get either we get St. Johnson if we beat Inverness. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Celtic playing their game. We have to play a Europa League game. Uh, what's that? That's the end of next year. Oh, that's next year. Let's keep going. So, yeah, we, we have accepted the deal. I mean, is he going to be... A, he is. He joins us. Oh, that's good, that. We had to pay a bit more than what we should have, but I think he's a good signing because the only reason I'm doing it as well... Yeah, I completely forgot I did that because usually when I do things off camera, I'll leave it for a few days. It's only because Davis is going to be leaving at the end of the year, probably 35 years old. And... Um, and Arfield as well, he's 32, he's coming up to the end of his career, and he's young, he's one of the big prospects in um, in Scotland, I thought, it makes sense to do it, why not? So, again, we're going to have to go with his team, Tavernier can make the bench, but I probably won't use him, if I'm going to be honest, Glenn Kamara is a little bit tired, so we will bring in, bring in Davis actually, is Arebo, nah, he's, yeah, okay, well, we'll leave him out, how do you need to start getting involved again? But at the minute, there's no place for him. Um, and that's going to have to be it, because our options are so limited. We're definitely going to have to rotate. Oh, come on, what these teams he's wanted by? Oh, my days. Our players are wanted by a lot of teams. And Barisic is going to have to get subbed off at half-time or something. We'll go to a back three. Because we literally have a backup left-back to use in the... Um, we don't have a left-back to use in the squad due to registration reasons again, because obviously we've had Calvin Bassey. If um, if we were allowed to register him, but we couldn't, so we're just gonna have to deal with it as it is. Unfortunately, Barisic will get a rest in the league. Um, when we have a league game next, Kamaru's been banging the goals as late. Can he can he create one in the first minute? Balogun, Davis, go on, just hit it, mate. Kent, oh, it's nearly the perfect start. Probably should have finished that. Kent, that's a great chance. Here's Morelos. Needs to be doing better than that. I was hoping he'd score a few more goals because Morelos on this game can grow to be an absolute animal. So hopefully he can in the near future. Is it going to be another Kamara with goal? He's offside, isn't he? Oh, VR's going to check it. I think he was offside. You could just tell by the way the ball went through. I just thought that's a bit dodgy, that. VR checking it. Michael Oliver. No goal. Video is clear offside. I thought it was. That's okay. Good start, though. First three minutes. Well, that goal was in the second minute, wasn't it? What a start. Yeah, it's offside. Good, good start, because this is obviously the, the, the toughest game we're going to play in, in the group. Nice, as it seems, because Dynamo Kiev and Rapid Vienna aren't the greatest. And despite us drawing into them, away. Um, not much else has happened as of yet. Poor throw from Balogun to Campbell. Schneiderlin, formerly of United in Southampton. Dolberg. Meant for big things. Swedish striker, plays through Ronnie Lopez, he's going to score it, oh what a save McGregor, I love that, it, it, we've got a lot, we're going to have a big clean out next year, because a lot of these experienced players won't be with us, the likes of McGregor, Davis, maybe Narfield, you know, we're bringing in the more, you know, the, the more youthful players, so this will be their last years, so it's great to utilise them, and hopefully they can perform like they are, like McGregor's having a great game so far, um, I'll take a, I'll take a nil-nil at half time, even though there's still, 13 minutes left to go till then. Will we be getting any more chances? How are Tottenham doing in their group? Where are they? Oh, they don't show it. Okay. <laughs> that is half time and it is nil nil. So I'll take that and I will because, you know, we're away and they're not easy away games in, in Europe. So, let's continue. I'm going to go positive. I'm, I'm, fe I'm feeling a bit more confident after that first half. Kent isn't having the best of games. We'll have to switch him out for Hadji. Morelos as well, he's having a bit of a shocker of a game as well. 
So we're going to take off. Because remember, we want to save them for Thursday as well. We're going to take off Kent for Hadji. Can Hadji play there? He can. And I'm going to bring off Morelos as well. For I'm going to bring off Morelos as well for Itton because Morelos has got 6.2 and he's not cutting it. Like I said, I'm not going to be nice with Morelos. If he's not playing well, then he won't play. It's as simple as that. Right, can Tavernier do a shift at left back? He can. That is beautiful, Tavernier. Get um, get on the pitch, mate. Get on the pitch. You can have a nice 20 minutes run out. Still going. Well, Kamal Rufi is a bit tired as well, so we will bring on our field. At this point, I'll take a nil-nil. I'll completely take a nil-nil because it will pretty much be um, to be through with a nil-nil. I'll take a late winner. I would be devastated if we conceded late on here because that would give him a big advantage in the group. But... Let's see. Can we tackle? Rennie Adelaide. Oh, Tavernier straight back in the business. No messing about, is there? Oh, if we can play out from the back here and score, that'll be beautiful. Come on, Arfield. Come on, Arfield. Oh, no. It's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. They're going to score. They're going to score. Close him down. Please. Close him down. Oh, is that Schneiderlin? What a chance. What a chance. So Balogun's a bit tired, but he'll have to see it out. Chance. Highlight. Is it for us? Come on, Arfield. Yes. Lovely ball. Come on, Hadji. We know the quality you have. You are too good for Rangers on this save. Tavernier on the weak side. Oh, oh no. Fall to a Rangers player. Oh, it's to Lopez as well. Is that the most dangerous player? No. Oh, wide. Side netting it is. I think it's going to be a nil-nil this. And I'll take that away against Nice. More than happy with that. We just couldn't concede the three points because then, you know, I'm happy with that performance. Because if we drew, if we lost and then they're on 10 and we were on 7, Dan and on 4, it's just a bit of a tight ending really. As long as we're staying, um, staying close with Nice. Nice little bit of money for the draw. Saying the, the yeah, Barisic and Jack could do with rest. That is okay. Moyes looking for Conor Gulton and Barisic. He was watching the game. Spending a Sunday in France. I know they were talking about his thing there. The end of the clean sheet. It's 312 minutes since Alan Maguire last conceded. It's like three and a bit games, isn't it? Nice to see, though, was back on track. Yeah, nice few clean sheets. That Hamilton game, I still can't go over that. <clears throat> I don't know what happens, but that was just a bit of a weird one. Seattle declare their interest in Davies. I mean, if he wants to go and finish his career in America, I won't get in his way. That's for sure. Nice actually want Davies, because obviously they're coming in with pre-contract offers now. Um, I'll accept that. I mean, I think you'll have to wait till January to go. And I'll, I'll be looking at scouting again off camera um, to try to bring in a few players maybe. I know we've brought in Ferguson, but you know, we could still bring in a few more. Um, financial update, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. And a young player of the month. We were nowhere near, were we? And we don't get manager of the month. We were third, but, you know, that's all right, I don't mind that. Player of the month, how 18. Wow, might as well scout him, see, see what he's about. Don't think we'll go for him, but no harm in scouting. Um, yeah, some people doing their licensing, that is fantastic. Oh, that is the last thing we needed. Oh, my days, because we were literally about to use him quite a bit. We might have to promote Doig back to the first team just while he's injured and to give Barisic a bit of a rest, you know. In these league games and these cup games. Oh, we're going to have to put on proper makeshift team out here. They're saying the Rebo there with game time, right? He's injured. I can't give him game time when he's injured. I'd love to play him. Silver search. No. I'll do this off camera. Just do it off camera as well. It's currently 10 o'clock on a Friday. So, yeah, the commentary is tomorrow. I'm quite excited. Southampton Man City. Hopefully, it's a good game. Um, yeah, don't want to Okay, right, that's fine, fair enough. 
offer a new contract to Edmondson. Okay. I I'd love to be playing him in the Europa League right now. But the fact that that um not that that. That um Yeah, the registration's absolute killed us off with that one. Um they take that, they will. Lovely. Hmm. I'll have to try and just see what happens in, in the next part of the um next part of the the Europa League, see if they can allow us to use him in the knockouts maybe. Um, Ariba's back. Is he back able to play? I am going to play him. Why not? Barisic. Apparently, Holanda can play there. Not to the greatest of abilities, but he can play there. So, I'm going to use him. So, uh, can Barisic play centre-back as well? We've got a lot. We've got quite a versatile team, haven't we? Um, I, I, I'd like to think. Do we have... We don't have a centre-back to play. Are you joking me? I have to play Balogun there. Is Balogun okay to play? He's going to have to be, isn't he? Tavernier has to come back in. Um, Kent, yeah, Morelos. That's going to have to be the team. Here's the last game of the episode. Um, of the of the triple header in the Europa League, the the week of Europa League. If we win this, I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed to be in the um, the next the next round. Um. Cool, cool, nice shake of the hands. It's amazing to think COVID isn't a thing in this game. I'd love to be a part of that. No COVID. <laughs> Here is the last, 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 last game of the episode. There is Tottenham's group. They are top of it. Even if it stays like, even if both, yeah, well, I'd like to win because I won't be top of the group. But as long as we don't lose, I think we're okay to qualify, which is good. I think we're going to take the lead here. Oh, Morelos, come on. It's frustrating when I lost because I know how good he can be in the next few years on football manager. He's going to be a, he's going to be a big player come a few seasons when hopefully when we're still doing it. So that's annoying that he's he's not really showing me anything at the minute. Like he scored the odd goal, but I want him to do I want to be like our Edward. I know Edward's been quite a lot for Celtic in the at the minute in the league on this save. Kent's been carrying us a little bit as well. Oh. That is the filthiest goal I've ever seen on Football Manager. That was unreal. I know I usually play with lower league teams on Football Manager, so I don't really see you know, goals like that very often. But that is ridiculous. <laughs> Temp goal of the season. What a player. We're currently top, so he's going to go down to the last game, isn't he, when we play Nice? It's at Rangers as well, so I, I'm pretty confident that we'll, 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 we'll win there. But... Fortunately, you won't see that game because we're already qualified. You don't really need to see it. Um, yeah. What a goal. Oh, my days. Oh, I'm playing Jack. I forgot that. He, he might have a bit of a break. I would have dropped him for Zunga as well. Oh, he never scored a cracker as well. I, I remember that. I'm, my memory's awful. I remember to bring Jack off at our time. I need to try and remember. Install it into my brain. Roof, big tackle. Here he is, the main man himself, Connor Goldson. Casually strolling to cut the ball. Here he is, the main man, the fan, well, the manager's favourite, Campbell. Go on, Kamar Roof, little big tackle. Yeah, Kamar Roof is literally being like a bit of a, you know, not an unsung hero, but just a bit of a surprise package. I didn't think he'd be as good as he as he is this year, because I thought it'd be mainly Hadji and Kent that'd be playing, but he's, he's come in and he's, he's been scoring a lot of goals, and I'm happy with his performances. Tavernier, massive tackle. Love that. Is, is he on a he's on a booking, so he has to be careful. But yeah, let's get in at half time. Come on, let's get it nil nil. So they go ahead on goal difference, right? Okay. So as long as we match their, the the goal to scoring, we should be okay. I'm gonna say I'm pleased with how things are going. Go to tactics. Yeah, I remembered. Bring on Zungu. There. Start second half. Let's go. Oh, straight with the highlight. Yes, Campbell. Roof, send it. He's going to run with it instead. Go on. Go inside. Go inside. He's going to keep going on the out. He's going to cross it. Oh, what a run. Ken. Oh, what a save. He's able to hold on to that. Usually the keepers will just let that go through him, but oh, the continue. Well, the highlight continues. Poor kick. Go on, Rebo. Nice, Tavernier. It's nice to see him back. He's going to have some competition, though, with that fullback we've brought in. Can't remember his name because he's, he was decent when he played. He was not too bad. I'd like to I'd like a goal just to keep um, head of niche on goal difference. 
but unfortunately that's not quite happening at the minute. Is that the Brighton guy? The former Brighton player? He's probably shoving him right wing. Let's go. Proper threat. Proper threat. Um, I don't know what to do. I might bring off Campbell because he's got a red card, a, a yellow card. And I might, I might just bring on Hadji and Cam again just to see if we can make anything happen. Um, I'd like to see something happen. I don't want to attack as well, actually. Um, you know, a bit of a better option, maybe, for, to get goals. Oh, if, he, if that Shaletto scores now, I've just chatted bad about him. That'll be funny. Oh, that's all right. Holander as well, doing an absolute shift at left back. Just shows how versatile our team is and how, how consistent we can be. I'm disappointed how we lost that unbeaten streak as well. The whole series, in, even including pre-season, we hadn't lost. And then we played, what was it, Hamilton at home and got beat 2-0. Oh, it was just painful to experience. Um, that's the last episode. I'll, I'll link the um, I'll link the playlist to the to all episodes in the description down below. Include Oh, what a strike again, Kent. Um, I'll just make some more changes. Yeah, I'll link like my mystery sh my giveaway as well. I forgot about that giveaway. That is in the description. Get involved. Um, just comment your favourite player on the video and you're in. Loads of people have already entered. It could be who wins. There's no reason why you shouldn't get involved. Um, oh, wide again by Kent. So get involved. I f forgot about it. That is in the description. Ma the main links that you need are, are, are in the um, are in the description. Always, anyway. So make sure you go and check that out. Oh, don't draw. Don't draw. Don't draw. Don't draw. Nice. Well out. And again. And again. Our field. Oh, love it. No. Had you win it? No. Oh, good ball. Is it? It, ah, it's Shiletto, please be offside. I just said he's not a threat. Please be offside. Please be offside. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. He's a right back. I don't think he ever scored for Brighton. Or if he did, I don't remember it. Come on. I don't think he matters now. The goal difference there, three up. Even if you score another one, I mean, it's going to go down to the last game, isn't it? If we draw, they'll go ahead. So it's not too bad. I'd like to finish first, though. Go on, Kent. Hadji, nice goal. 2-0. I'm going to attack in a lot of third if I can because I'd rather finish top of the group. I really would because the Europa League can be dangerous when you finish second because you could get any teams. Is it going to be 2-0? Oh, ooh. Arfield, come on. Yes. 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 That could be a massive goal. It might not seem it, but when it comes to the draw, and if we do finish first with beating Nice or drawing, that could be a huge, huge goal. I feel great battling after the after the ninety fourth minute as well, which makes it even better. The drive to get another, get in. We are top going into that last game. Will we finish top of the group? All we need is a draw. I'm very pleased with that. I am very, very pleased with that because that could be a big goal. In terms of who we get in the next in the next round, receive a bit of money as well. Yeah, people need rest. That's fine. Kent on fire with that goal as well. I'm getting patting him on the shoulder. Are you superb? Let's do the um. Let's do the press conference very quickly. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's continue once more. Check the inbox. Okay. Right. So that is the end of the games for this episode. Right. I am. You know what? I don't know when. The Europa League next stages are. I think it's around February, so we should be all right. So I am going to play all these games off camera from Inverness to St. Mirren. And then the next episode, we'll be back for the big game. And we'll see how the table stands when you return. We'll have two big games, Celtic and Aberdeen. That is going to be the next episode. So honestly, every episode is going to have a massive one in this series, which makes it so exciting. But other than that, I hope you like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Make sure you check out the stream later on today if you're watching this before 3 o'clock on Saturday. And if, if it's already past that, then, well, it's already done. I hope you were there. Anyway, yeah, make sure you check out the giveaway video as well. Make sure you get involved. There's about 20 people already in it, something like that. Like 17, 18, 19, 20 people. So make sure you're getting involved. The announcement for that is on the 22nd on a little live stream just to pick the winner. And other than that, we'll see you in another video very soon on the Football Commentaries YouTube channel.